seconds, you step back and you're now charging at 21 miles an hour and it costs you 350 bucks instead of a thousand or two thousand dollars. That's that's awesome. So I mean, part of this conversation again, like even some of the things you just mentioned is a lot of people don't talk about the technology in the way that we in the industry know about it. The amps, the volts, and what that means is, it, is, it, is there a step down? Is there a split? Like, right. how do you make it work the right way? And so I guess to that end, what you've created, I guess this seems like an ideal situation for the house that has the washer dryer in the garage, for example, right? Sure. And they just, you say, oh, if you have a dryer outlet, you can basically plug your EV in at level two, that's right? right. That's so right. that's essentially what you guys have made pretty much plug and play, right? It is. It's, it's meant for people who don't know or care a whole lot about electricity. They just want to plug in the device and have it work. So the idea is with three plugs, you can plug it in, flip the switch on and you're done. So anybody can do it. You don't need to know about 240 volt. You just plug it into your dryer circuit and then plug your charger into it and your dryer into it. And that's it. Okay, Joe, go ahead. Joe, Joe and I have a lot of questions back and forth before we start this conversation. Go ahead, you <laughs> yeah. next, you next, I got more. So, but the important thing is, you know, when you've got a, an older home, like especially if you're in Chicago, if you're in the South, you've got one of these century homes, you know, a lot of those even have, it's a very easy process to have a 220 in the garage if they don't have it already. So this is something that's very accessible without kind of tearing up your yard or, or doing some you know new installation into an older house that maybe for historical reasons or just sentimental reasons you don't want to be tearing into. That's right. Uh, it's just intended to work with both the older existing wiring. Back it's called NEMA 1030. You don't care about that. But it works with both older wiring and newer wiring. So the point is to work with what you have in place plug the box in and it's off and running. You don't need to do any installation. You don't need to do permitting. You don't need to go and have your house load done. Just nothing, just plug the box in and go. Yeah, now you're clearly a very knowledgeable guy. You're, you're dropping a lot of you know engineering terms here. What, what's your background? What's kind of led you into Split Bolt? Yeah, my, my background comes from technology marketing for uh, a wide range of uh, product lines and technologies in early days of networking, moved into data storage, uh, selling systems to hyperscaler data centers. So uh, folks like, you know, like you know, Google, Facebook, Apple, those kind of guys. Um, and then I have a core team of people who all have between 30 and 40 years of experience uh, developing startups and building that technology out. So we looked at this and said, you know, there's a nice starting point here. We can solve problems for people really easily, nail this product, and then come out with some additional follow-on capabilities that are pretty grand, cloud-based and other things. Uh, but anyway, so long time background in technology startups. And uh, I, I bought an electric vehicle. I, bought, um, I first bought a Ford Fusion, which was a hybrid, so I could get the, the, the sticker, basically. You can get a carpool lane sticker for my commute in Silicon Valley. It's oh, terrible. the right? EV perks. You gotta love them, don't you? So, so <laughs> I got a car that. with benefits. <laughs> exactly. And so then I said, okay, you know what? I like this hybrid thing. Let me go all the way over to an electric vehicle. So I got a, a Model 3 in 2018. And I started driving it. I'm like, wow, this guy was going to charge me 750 bucks to install a dedicated circuit in my house. And it was like really easy, but that's kind of expensive and it was going to take quite a while. So I thought there's got to be a better way of doing this. So we sort of investigated options out there and realized that with some intelligent switching and other things that we built into the system, we could do that. So basically it was to avoid the commute is why I started the company because I wanted to keep that sticker and I wanted to have it be easy and inexpensive to be able to fast charge at home my electric vehicle. So you, you kind of basically looked at this from a from an ownership perspective in a lot of different ways. And I think that's a, the fun part is there's a lot of people that are here attending Electrify Expo that they need to figure a lot of these things out for themselves. Yeah. And you've done a lot of the legwork for basically the thinking on their behalf, right? Yeah. Is that they, at the end of the day, a lot of people just want to go car shopping. They right. just want to go car shopping. It's like, look, people love cars. They love all the brands that are here, the different types of vehicles. And the part that we're talking to, again, a lot of different people about this, and again, the team from Austin Energy was after chatting about it as well. They provide the fuel, and you guys provide the easy link to the fuel. That's right. Yeah. So I guess to that end, you know, do you see that you've developed out the right product? Is it kind of a first iteration, like a Gen 1? I guess, what do you see for like the future, what you guys are doing? Well, we, we feel real great about the solution that, that's out there today that we've developed because it solves a distinct pain point, basically. You can charge your car fast and inexpensively, slam dunk. But we've really been looking down the road about uh, uh, ways to extend that in product lines and solutions that basically make life easier for people who own electric vehicles. Because we know that most people out there don't know that much about the electrical market or EVs in general, and they shouldn't have to. So right now, I would say the second most important reason for us forming this company was we talked to uh, auto salespeople. And those guys said, look, I get customers excited about buying my EV, 
He goes, but at some point in the conversation, I have to tell them the bad news. And the bad news is they gotta have a dedicated circuit installed and it's gonna cost them a thousand dollars, maybe two thousand dollars. And I said, well, why don't we just give them a box? Take this box, plug it in, in 60 seconds, you have fast home charging and you didn't spend thousands of dollars. That's a, that's a great point. It's, and it's akin to what I think is kind of what the industry's doing. We're marrying the energy sector to the auto sector in a brand new way. That's and, right. and that pain point you described, I think is really important because again, a lot of these auto brands right here, they've relied on the fossil fuel industry to make fueling easy right. for decades, a century now. And now there's, again, companies like Austin Energy and companies like yours that are saying, well, no, no, we're the new partner you have and that's we right. need to make it easy. That's right. And it's great that you were listening to the auto I've, I've spent 20 years in the auto industry. And so to hear you say that you listen to that pain point, especially when someone's buying the car, that's, that's right. such Split a big call. deal because it's one thing Split to come call. and do research and test drive, but when you do want to buy it, are you giving the tools to the people that are selling the car to answer questions about what your product does? Yeah, it's all about reducing friction, helping people understand and making it easy for them. The general mainstream buyer is not gonna adopt it. They have to go and learn all this this jargon around technology and electricity. They don't care about it. They shouldn't. They don't know what it. octane means for the most part. They're just that's like, right. hey, I put in regular and it works. That's right. Yeah, so it's the same for electricity. So I guess to that end, with you kind of have seen where the pain points were for you. Have you been hearing from customers on on things that they, they see that are, I guess, still something where, again, I kind of alluded to it before, like maybe a Gen 2, or is it more so you think you've kind of like covered the basis for what you think you'd do for this product, but are there other things outside of what you guys are doing now that you think you could solve? But do you need, I mean, do you need a Gen 2? Because I mean, this, this seems to tick all the boxes, right? You've got the safety system built in, you've got the safe switching built in where, you know, you're not going to over load the circuit. I mean, if I put one of these in my garage today, why would I need to think about it? It seems like it just runs and runs like a top, right? It, it does. And it, it does address that point very effectively. Um, you know, we do listen to customers a lot. I've learned that in my career. It's really important. It's the starting point. It's not about the technology. It's about making it easy for the customer. Like a comfort but, zone but, thing, right? But, but to answer your question very specifically, the feature set in the product we have today is about five to 10% of the feature set that we're already developing for our next gen. So there's, gotcha. we've got a very, so imagine if you will, a team of technologists who have built out cloud-based infrastructure for the largest hyperscalers out there. You can kind of imagine where we're thinking about uh, and how it ties together. We care a lot about the utilities world. We care a lot about cloud-based dynamics and template matching and a whole bunch of things that most people don't care about. But we're, we're just trying to get out in front of, hey look, the automotive world is turned on its head now. What does <laughs> yeah. that mean? What can we do to help? And so we found a whole series of things. Like I said, I'm not a, it's, it's a very large portion of our product still to be developed and rolled out. And they're all under the umbrella of empowering EV adoption. We just want to make it easier for folks. We want to integrate various technologies that are peripheral in a way that just makes things seamless. Right. So when they're hooking up again, so this basically you hook up to the plug that's in the house. Yeah. And then the it has two plugs on the front. Yeah. And you can hook that dryer back up, and then yeah. you can hook up your EV. That's right. So, so when you're hooking up the EV, I guess do they always use the connector that comes with the car? Do they have an option to upgrade to something may, maybe different? I guess what do, what do you guys? It's all standard based plugs. All okay. completely standard. So the our our splitter switch product works with all standard charger vendors. We have a charger that we sell as well. Okay. But you can pick the type of plug, whether you have the older style three wire plug or the newer four wire plug, or whether it's a 30 amp or other, we have the ability to connect. We have configurations that connect to all those. So you cater to every single use case. So there might be a vehicle that may not be, we, we get in the weeds of nerdiness right now. It may not be set up to be, you know, uh, 11 kilowatt for you know AC charging, maybe seven kilowatt. And you guys could say, well, for example, like our splitter is meant to be much more straightforward than that. You don't even have to get them into those weeds. You can just say, here's the exact one we think will work great for you and your car. That's right. And so all they need to do to buy our product is look and figure out what socket. And so they can look at their socket, they can look at our and go, they know the one that order, and it's that simple. We don't really want them to have to think about amps and bolts oh, no. and yeah. uh, any of that stuff, or NEMA or anything. They just look at it and go, okay, this is the one I need, and they order it. And they can order it from our website, they can order it from Amazon, they can get it anywhere in the country, and we're also uh, international, going international as well. So, so, to, let's so say we can, have, oh, ahead, Joe, yeah. yeah, let's say I have 220 in my garage, yeah. and I have two EVs, yes. and I want to plug them both in. Can I get your box and put one into each socket? Yeah, you are you are right on it. And exactly, that's a great application. We use our our device is purchased. Our split bolt splitter switch is purchased to charge two EVs off of a single circuit as well. It'll charge one fully and then the other, which is again the only safe way to do it. If you were to run 
power on both those at the same time, a normal average user might misconfigure that and it's gonna pull too much power. So yeah. we, we make sure that it does one and then the other, but you could put two EVs on there, frankly, or another appliance on there and it will run, it'll prioritize the first and then it'll charge the second. So we do that commonly. It's a great way to charge two vehicles off of one circuit. That's a really, I mean, that's a, that's a smart way to do it because that, that's, you're taking again a lot of the thinking out of the hands of someone who just, intended by this. Yeah. I mean, most average people are going to not understand that concept, but you guys are taking care of the, you know, basically the, the not the, the risk, but it's just like, no, this is where we're making it super safe, super smart, yeah. and it's plug and play. That's right. This is not a unit that's meant for engineers. This is a unit that's meant for just normal folks who just want to plug it in and they want to fast charge and they don't want to spend a bunch of money. And they don't want to have to think about it. I don't want to have to plug in my car and then go, okay, is this switch to left or right or whatever? It's going to figure that out for That's me. right. I just plug in and I walk away. And when I come out the next morning, I've got a full tank or a, or a full tank of electric fuel. I've got a full battery. You, you've got it exactly. And frankly, the, elect, the electric vehicle sales represent, the automaker sales team members probably appreciate this as much as anybody else because it just makes their selling process easier. They just say, great, you want this car now? They've talked about the benefits and then they go, and if you get that box right over here, the split bolt box, it'll just charge it for you. You get fast charging without having to do any other stuff. So who do you work with mostly to get this the product out there? Are you going direct to consumer? Are you working with a lot of dealers? I guess, who do you see as your, your best partners right now? So initially, um, we're, we're a relatively small, rapidly growing company, and uh, but we wanted to sort of cut to the chase and provide scale quickly. So uh, we sell a lot through Amazon. Okay. Uh, we're, uh, our products came out and we're number one ranked for quite a while. We have a whole lot of things that are happening there. We also sell on our own website as well. And then we're rolling out other programs, affiliate programs for uh, auto sales reps, also affiliate programs for influencers and other people. Um, so we're, 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 we're trying to help get the word out. Right. Well, again, one thing that's happening, what Electrify Expo is all about, frankly, it, this is the megaphone of the industry. Yeah. And this is something that's been needed for a while. We've seen a lot of great events that have been kind of you know, grassroots for EVs for years now. Yeah. And this is a real mainstream approach to saying this EVs have arrived, electric fuel has arrived, that's right. and this is where you get that chance to really, again, say to the world, this is what our product does. So, And you kind of mentioned, you're like, well, the next big push for us is we want to get the word out more. Yeah. So aside from Electrify Expo and, and, again, being here, I guess, what other ways do you think you guys are going to start getting the word out is, is it going to be you go know, growth into a new sector I mean, you're already selling nationwide i imagine yep. because of online yep, sales. We are. yeah so do you guys plan to go international i guess or are yes, you already now we are yeah okay. of course we took all of our patent filing we did across the u.s and extended that internationally oh, great. it's very easy for us to first immediately go into as we already are into countries that already have american power styles and but then it's also not difficult for us to extend into other regions that have different voltage or connectors type our technology uh, allows for that so the point is, uh, that is part of our plan. It's something we're doing, but we're also broadening our product lines out. There's a lot of other change happening in the space, all related to the electric vehicle adoption. And we've got some really interesting product line extensions that will be coming out there. They're not extensions of the same product. They're they're sort of parallel and appealing. So we've got a lot on our plate, and that's why we've got a fairly a senior, seasoned, and broad team working on those items today. Yeah. yeah, I feel like vehicle to, you know, vehicle to grid, vehicle to home is going to be something that's going to be on your guys' radar, or maybe it is, and and how that works for someone says, well, I want to plug my car in, but then you hear a lot of OEMs talking about, well, yeah, your car can power your home one day, too. Yeah. Is your system going to be ready for those types of moments? So we're not quite ready to go on the record with our, our long-term product roadmaps, but um, let's just say you that we want to do an Osborne 2 kind of scenario. You understand, exactly. <laughs> not many people know that business school reference, Osborne 2, you don't pre-announce your products. Uh, but you can imagine that if we're coming from the cloud-based hyperscaler world, that we're looking at big picture stuff and, and how we can affect many different things, right? I, I recognize very fully exactly what Tesla has done from a utility power perspective. It's a very big deal. Many folks haven't figured that out yet. We would like to help other vendors, other automakers solve those problems too. Right. There's a there's a series of things like that. So your your thinking is right in line, although I'm not really able to go on record yet about exactly what we're doing. Well, no, again, nobody's, it, yeah, all these guys with the recording equipment, that's not for us. Oh, or gotcha. just tell us whatever you want. Yeah, it's just <laughs> us. It's just us here. Again, it's just us here. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, this is. I mean, this is exciting to see. So, I guess there's there's a lot of more things that I could like, you know touch on. I guess, but is there what are the ways that we can ensure that people are finding your product easily? Uh, obviously, you guys have a booth here. Where's your booth located here? Yeah, in the show? we we're really. I gotta say that we've been really pleased with the Electrify Expo event. It's been fantastic. We we did the very first show right, and we're doing this show as well. Um, we we're, we're we're located right in the very front entrance way. When you first come in those doors, you're kind of aiming at the building right back here. We're right there. Split bolt is right there black pop-up tents. So we've got a live demo with a dryer and an EV charger. And oh, that's perfect. And the power it's actually doing it. So people can walk up and be like, turn the dryer on, 
They can see that our, our the, the, uh, the charger stops. They can see it work live, and that has a Perfect. big effect. But we've been really pleased with Electrify overall. We think that you guys are just reading it just right. You got a lot of interested folks, people who are coming in who are brand new or learning a lot. Some people who are very seasoned are here, and they're also learning, and they're sharing their knowledge. So I think the structure and the format and locations you guys are picking are really good. We plan to continue doing that. Um, we feel like uh, getting the word out, though, for us is going to be something that we're accelerating now over time. We've already proven the model. It's all That's all going well. Um, so, uh, but you, you did ask earlier about other uh, channels and that sort of thing, and too, that's important to us, other distribution channels, parts suppliers, all those things, those all matter, and they're just a matter of us prioritizing and rolling out over time. So we're, we're SEMA members as well, oh, we'll be at CES show, we've got a, you know, a lot of things come on the, on the horizon coming up to, to try and help get the, the word out. Yeah. So one thing that you mentioned was people can go to the booth and they can turn on the dryer and see that it starts charging. So it, this is something that we haven't covered. You've actually got like a little display yeah. on the device that kind of tells you where the power is going. That's right. And if you do have maybe not the engineering background, but just the interest to know what's going on, yeah. you're really making it very transparent, very simple to That's see right. where the power is going. Yeah, it, it feels like to us... When you plug this thing in, you shouldn't necessarily have to go, you know, go online, do some other thing to figure it out. You should be able to just look at it and go, oh, I see how much power is being drawn by my electric vehicle. That's the thing people wonder all the time. It shows you exactly, cumulative. It also tells you exactly what your watts are at that particular time. It tells you exactly what your amperage is at time. Now, many people won't care about that, but some people do, and you can look at it if you want to. But right. if you, you want know, to know, you can. Yeah. But you don't have to, right? It's just it's one of those things. That's It's nice to see what's actually happening if you care about it. Yeah, do you have a setup over there where somebody can actually just pick it up and put it into the wall and you go, oh, that's it? Well, yeah. yeah. Hooked up to, like, again, you mentioned, I walked by and I was like, they, they have a dryer waiting here. And then when I finally saw you guys had everything set up, I was like, this is in real time. Yeah. You yeah, can really engage with the product in real yeah. time. Every time I do a demo over there, I say, this starts with, I just take the box, I set it down. I plug one plug, plug two plugs, plug three plugs, turn it on. And I walk away. Please and you're tell fast me. charging. That's it. It's like it's like 60 seconds. I want to know that your guys' instruction manual looks like an IKEA catalog, where it's just like a little cartoon dude with like a wrench. Yeah, <laughs> it, it is. It is. It is. Does not require installation because you don't have to mount it. Right. So it does have four holes if you want to mount it on the wall, but you can just set it on the dryer like we're showing here. You can put it on a shelf, or you could just put it up and put the four drill holes. We did a little short video. This is how you mount it. I'm like, okay, what am I gonna? I just hold it up, put a level. Right. <laughs> 25 seconds later, that's done. Here's a pencil and you did, done. Our website at uh, www.splitbolt.com uh, splitbolt has got these little short uh, 90 second videos that show this is how switching works, this is how the installation works. Yeah. And and it's all snack you size. You can take one, yeah. talk about it, yeah. take the other one. No, snackable content, right? And I, I gotta say, I'm, I'm really impressed. Again, you mentioned the background you and your team have. You guys have all the engineering prowess, but you're really appreciating this from like the mainstream buyer's perspective. Yeah. And I yeah. think that's so important because yeah. We can't just hope that everybody will figure out so much of what you and your team have learned over the years. Yeah. They really just do need that, 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 again, that simple touch. And I think you guys have done a great job with that. Everything yeah, explained. It's really a great that. product. We really appreciate it, guys. And we're, we're, we're real happy to be here, and, and we, we like the feedback we've been getting, and we're going to keep working hard to provide solutions that are effective and convenient for customers. And, uh, but we look forward to doing a lot more with you guys as well. You know, I think there's a lot of exciting things coming up. So we're looking forward to that. Yeah, well, you know, uh, we're excited to be working with you here. And also, you know, obviously, first of all, thank you for being a part of the show. Thanks for coming on to our show and being a part of the podcast. You know, one thing that we like to do with everybody when they're on here is, you know, how can the people who are, who are into what you're doing, how can they follow along on social media? What other events are you going to be at that they can go find out more? Uh, you know, stage is yours. Tell us how we can support you. Well, thanks. I really appreciate that. Obviously, we've got our own website. There's a normal email addresses at email, info at splitbolt.com and help at splitbolt.com. We've got the typical Instagram splitbolt. We've got the Facebook groups page splitbolt. We've got um, sort of the normal mechanisms that you expect. If you, if you search on Split Bolt, uh, pretty much any of the social media platforms, you'll see some information there about what we're doing. Um, and that's, that's, that's the primary uh, means today. Um, and, and that's really, yeah. Great. Sounds good. Yeah, we, again, this is the type of conversation we want to have is with, with everybody in the industry that's making this happen. So number one, thank you for being part of Black Expo. And then thank you for taking your, your ingenuity and making it easy for people to see how to go electric. This is great. Well, so th 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 thank, thank you very much, Matt and Joe. Really appreciate your time in this great show. Thank you. Thank you.